Today, let's talk some off-grid power for the adventure van. I have finally put together a system that I thought about for virtually months. Had an idea in my head and uh, finally got all the pieces put together this week. And I basically refer to it as my Goal Zero Redneck Yeti 1250. Uh, costs considerably less. It weighs less, and I think it might be just a little more powerful than the Yeti, but uh, pretty happy with the way it turned out, so I thought I'd share it with you today. Also, this is a system without solar. I'm going to add solar in the future, at least that's what my plan is. So this is a setup without solar. Here's a visual overview of the system. It's actually quite simple, and y'all, that watch my videos know that I like to keep things simple. What I've used is a Minn Kota trolling motor power center. And right here I have used an Ampeak 2000 watt power inverter. Inside the Minn Kota power center, I have placed a VMAX 125 amp hour battery. It is an AGM deep cycle. Uh, it does not give off any gas. You don't have to add any water or anything like that to it. It can be mounted in any way. So I'm going to show that to you, but I want to let you know what's inside there. It's a beast. One of the reasons that I went with the Minn Kota Power Center is on each end, it has a built-in 12-volt cigarette lighter type adapter, which will work perfect with my refrigerator. I also like the fact that it has these external hookups for the inverter, meaning that I don't have to take the battery out or I don't have to open it up to actually charge the batter, the battery either through solar or through a wall charger. The system is also very portable because of the handle with the power center. And of course, if I need this inside my house, anywhere I need it, I can easily transport it. Well, I say easily. The problem, the only problem really is, is the fact that this battery is 75 pounds. So uh, it's not something that you're going to tote around super easy. Um, but the fact that it is portable, and just got to put a little, little stomach, little shoulders, little arms, you know, work out your guns and you can move this thing around. Also keep in mind the Yeti 1250 is 100 pounds, so this is about 25 pounds less. I want to show you what the underside of the power center looks like. Here is the all the wiring. Right here on the two ends, you've got the 12 volt cigarette type adapters. And right here are those two fuses that Minn Kota provides. Now, I bypassed those fuses. I didn't need them for my system. On the two fuses, obviously you have an in and out, and the fuse creates the break. What I did is I just disconnect the wiring on one side of each fuse and moved it to the other, which essentially bypassed the fuse. The reason I did that is because these fuses were a little more sensitive than I needed. My inverter provides any fuse capabilities that I need. Those two blue connectors, now what that is, is I modified this and put in a digital voltmeter readout because I want to see the volts instead of putting a meter across it. So when I put it together I'll show you that, but that's what that represents. That's a mod I did to the top. Here's a shot of the battery. It is a VMAX SLR 125 it's made for solar systems it's AGM deep cycle 75 pounds it's a beast for most people but when you got these kind of guns hell man I just work out with this thing and just do a bunch of curls here's the thing about this battery it is a class 31 the Minn Kota power center box is actually a class 27 
but once I did the um, looked on Amazon and did the measurements I determined that this would actually fit inside this class 27 box so that will not be a worry for you if you decide to do something like this here's a view of everything before I put the top back on these two little small wires they run that um, little digital voltage indicator and this is I just put 16 gauge wire and tied those directly just stripped it off and uh, tied it directly to the battery terminals and right here here's the top here's kind of a look at the guts inside so all this is just going to sit on top just like so Minn Kota provides this strap to buckle everything down make it nice and secure so now it's ready to go you can walk around with it if you have to if you look right here at the top Minn Kota provides a test button and to indicate the charge of your battery so all you have to do obviously is hit the button now however that's one of the reasons I bought it but after I started putting all this together I just didn't need that what I needed was a specific digital readout I wanted to know my exact voltage because I don't want to take the battery down too far and that just wasn't good enough for me so I used that I installed that was about a ten dollar meter easy to install I took a Dremel made a hole in the top put it in there wired it and there you can see I got a digital reading I'm at 12.8 and this battery uh, I don't want to take it down below about 12.6 12.5 until I get solar I use the Deltran battery tender plus it's a smart charger it will not overcharge the battery this battery takes 24 to 30 hours to completely charge. Here's really the only other modification I've made on this um, so far. Now here's the cable coming from the inverter. What I did is I used a bolt to attach it to the terminal. And what this allows me to do, here's the, the bolt caps that come with it. I can actually take these off and charge, put the alligator clips and charge the battery without these terminals, cables being removed or actually fitting on there loose. So that's pretty much it for the mods and I did the same thing for the other. That's a happy bird. <laughs> Never fails. All right, let's wrap this thing up. Okay, let's begin to wrap this thing up. Let's talk cost. Video's running a little long, and I know some of y'all got some cat videos you need to go watch, and others have seen some YouTube videos with some bikini thumbnails and cleavage. I, I can show you my cleavage if I wanted to, but I'm not that kind of guy okay so we're going up against the yeti and it's around thirteen hundred dollars for the goal zero yeti uh 1250. so my costs are as follows the Minn Kota power center box 59 dollars the battery 280 dollars the inverter 140 dollars the digital voltmeter add-on was about ten dollars and the charger was $48 for a total of about $537 versus the Goal Zero Yeti 1250, which obviously has a few more bells and whistles 
than my simple system has. One of the things that I like about this off-grid power system that I designed is that when I come home from an adventure, it really makes it easy for the adventure wifey to come out here and clean my van. I also like the fact that if I get hungry, the adventure wifey can just plug in a hot plate and make me a sandwich anywhere I'm at. Okay, y'all, that is a wrap. Thanks for watching. I'll have links in the description to everything that I used in case you want to build your own kit. Um, it's working great for me and I can recommend every piece of gear that I put in the description. All right. Make sure you go have an adventure and I'll see y'all or y'all again real soon. What? Hold on. What? I got the vacuum cleaner out here. Can I finish the video before I vacuum the den? Gosh!